Hello guys, this is Virendra Singh and welcome back at our Mastercam multi access tutorials and tool path. This is our another one video where we created the tool path with the help of some different kind of strategy. And that tool path is known as, as you can see here, this tool path we are created with the help of 2D high speed mill area milling. And that tool path is working perfectly on a rotary. So that is a different method of creating a multi-access toolpath with the help of 2D toolpaths and that method we can do with the help of a complete special and specific process and that process is known as roll and unroll. In this video you will learn about that how we can create a toolpath for a multi-access with the help of 2D toolpaths. Also you will learn about that how we can use the roll and unroll method or we can say a roll and unroll command and what we can get with the help of both of these and what is the complete process for this. So as you can see here as that is simulating currently on your screen we will create a complete tool path for that one model what is the step by step that process we are following what are the multiple steps what are the methods and I will also share some trick and trip trick to create that tool path and the most important thing if previously you try to create any time roll and unroll with tool path with the help of roll and unroll method so you are getting stuck on some method where you are creating tool path and some at some different location and your tool path is getting created at a different place so we will also make that solution what what is the exact solution for this one so as you can see here that is I am backplotting in a 2D and now I would like to came on a 3D simulation. Let's have a look at how it is going to be created and what is going on. So as you can see here, this is we are mounting properly on a rotary 4 axis and now have a look. It is cutting in a proper way like as we can use 2D mill 2D toolpath on a 4 axis or a 5 axis as we want. So that is some different method, some different trick, some different tricks. So that is the sim very simple and easy method to create that kind of toolpath. So now let we have to start to learn that what is the steps that we have to follow to create these kind of a beautiful toolpath with the proper control. So now guys we are back on our mastercam toolpath page and now we have to initialize that what is the process and what the steps that we have to need to do. To create that beautiful toolpath. So for that one I open this model file again from the initial level and I just say don't save. When I just open this model from the initial position so now first thing that we have to have a look of this is my model file that you can see here. The first step that I have to do that I need to create a curve where I want to create a toolpath. So for that one I go to the home and I just make my wireframe uh, width increase my width and go to the wireframe and click on curve on edge at here curve on edge I just click right at here so now as you can see here curve is created right at here click on here click I have to click on a bottom surface make sure you always remember that one thing always where you want to create a tool path you have to choose the bottom one surface click here the same click here the same so that is we are controlling in this side if you want to create the same with this side so we can also clicking on the another version side and first step is we have to create we have to define the curve on a particular proper solid model so as you can see here, right at here I created curve on the, all the areas now the next step that I have to do that I need to unroll this curve in a proper method and what is the method and what is the trick that you have to understand properly I have to came in a transform in a transform the command which we have to use that is known as roll and unroll we have to click on the command and at here I just use a window selection why I use window selection because at here there are the multiple curves that I have to select in a single time 
so with the help of window selection i make select a multiple curve at a time this is my diameter value and at here this is the angle position so i have to define the 270 it means that it is going to be created in a proper way what we have to do we have to make copy or move the one of the important thing that you have to make sure that you have to choose the method copy or move you have to select in a proper way and the rotary direction you can choose the x and y as per your need and the important thing that you have to define the two thing that first is the diameter what is the diameter where we are unrolling that what and the second thing is the position that both these things are the important right at here first is the diameter value what is the diameter value where it is rolled and second is the angle make sure your angle should be always 270 if you want to make tool path at a proper position always you have to define 270 right at here and where you want to unrolling that one that is we are doing unrolling so in a clockwise direction or counter clockwise that you have to choose properly because the cho you choosing right at from here that you have to same you have to define during the creating of the tool path so that is the three methods that are important the direction the angle it should be always 270 and the diameter of value how we can find the diameter value that method is we have to go in home click on a dynamic and just click on this so as you can see here this the diameter is 300 so now we are completing over two steps first we have to create a curve on a model file where we want to unrolling the area and after that second we have to came in a transform use roll and unroll command and we have to unrolling all the curve area and after that now the next step that you have to choose the tool path and you have to create so for creating a tool path i have to came in a machine and i have to select a milling tool path and at here i am choosing a area milling in area milling i just have to choose the, all these area for that one i just choose a window selection and just select all these portions and just say okay after the next step i have to select tool select a tool and at here i just say the tool which diameter is 12 mm and the linking parameter i have to say the clearance is 50 mm incremental 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 and incremental and the important and just say okay once we define everything and just say okay so it means the tool path is created but the tool path is created right at here as we are creating in a 2d but now the thing that we need to that the tool path have to be roll on that one model properly so for that one there is the important method that we have to co do that we have to back to came to parameter and in the last portion that is axis control and at the bottom of the axis control there is one option that is known as rotary axis control now the game is on at here we have to define some important parameter and that's are the most important at here in a rotary axis control we have to click a uh, axis sub simulation right at here in axis sub simulation we have to defining in which axis we are created this so generally we are doing this in a y axis and after that what is the rotation direction make sure you have to always choose the direction which we are choosing at the initial position when unrolling this curve and at here we have to define the diameter value and just say okay now ladies and gentlemen have a look the tool path is created in a proper and perfect way now you can see here this is my proper tool path and if i want to show our visualization this tool path in a four axis so we have to click simulation rotary axis and just have a look look at the beauty of the master cam it is ultimate software with the beautiful tool path and the multiple methods so now you i hope you get get understand about that how you can create a roll and unroll tool path with the help of roll and unroll command and what is the exact method so i hope that you like this make sure when you are creating tool path with the help of 2d in a parameter there is one option in rotary axis combination always choose axis sub simulation you have to define axis sub simulation you have to define the diameter value and clockwise and counter clockwise that is depending upon how you are unrolling your curve so that is the best method to create a tool path i hope you get understand about that if you need that model file go and join our mastercam multi access channel button and you will get access of all model files of our mastercam multi access 
so thank you so much for watching this video keep learning keep growing see you in the next video bye bye